I was trying to think of what kind of video I wanted to do for this week, and I realized it's been a while since we've just had a chat. Now, I've gotten a lot of questions in the past about therapy, both gender-related and otherwise, about my experience with it, do I recommend it, do I recommend it for youth and families? So I wanted to take this video to talk about specifically that. I'm going to start with sharing my experience and my story of seeing all sorts of kind of therapists throughout the years, and then give just a few tips and tricks or hints, whatever you want to call it, for people who are looking into seeing a therapist for the first time. I came out to my parents as trans when I was about 12 or 13 years old, so pretty young, especially for that time. So our first move as kind of a family unit was to go to therapy together. We started seeing a very general youth therapist who didn't really know a lot about trans topics. And she was great. She was very, very lovely, very kind. I know she did a lot of research in between sessions to be as helpful as she could. But at the end of the day, and she actually admitted this herself, she just didn't know a lot about how to help me or us as a family. So she directed us to the University of Minnesota. Now the U of M has actually done a lot of work in the trans health department, and they have a center for sexuality where they have a lot of therapists who will work with trans individuals. We started seeing somebody at the U of M pretty quickly, and it went really, really well. Well. Our sessions were structured with the first half being the whole family together and the second half being just me and the therapist to have some one-on-one. -on -one. And my parents were very supportive of my transition really from the beginning and I'm very fortunate for that. But even with that kind of dynamic, it was very helpful to have a mediator in the room providing both perspectives. He would help reassure me that my parents would get there, they'd get on board, it was just gonna take some time, and also help explain some things to my parents that I couldn't really explain myself because I didn't have the language for it at the time. We also were eventually offered to go to group therapy sessions. And of course, for me, it was very valuable to meet some other trans people, but I think this really made the difference with my parents. My mom has talked about this before in other videos, and I don't really want to spend a lot of time speaking for her, but I do know that talking to other moms whose kids were a little bit further along in their transition, had maybe gone through some medical processes that I wanted to go through, and getting the reassurance of, hey, we've been there, we've been as scared and hesitant as you were, and it's okay, and things got figured out, and our kid is really happy. I know that that experience was very valuable for her, and really helped her realize that this was a good thing, and not something to be afraid of. I eventually did come out, of course, freshman year of high school, and continued to go to both the bigger group therapy and the smaller family unit therapy for a good portion of that time. Eventually sort of graduated out of group therapy, just went solo or sometimes with my parents until I finished out high school. I then went to college and stopped seeing somebody for about a year. And it wasn't until I went through a very difficult breakup with my high school significant other that I thought, hmm, therapy's worked well for me before for other things now might be a really good time for me to try that again. Now, I only saw this therapist at home in Minnesota for about a month, maybe a month and a half, but he had a very calm and reassuring energy to him. I remember he gave me tea at the beginning of every session. We really just kind of talked through things and he let me kind of vomit out some of my feelings because I think he knew that that was what I needed at that moment and that when I got back to Chicago, I would really start pushing myself to move forward. My current therapist has a much different style from anybody else I've seen before. Now he's not a gender therapy specific individual. However, his practice was recommended to me as a place that was generally very queer friendly, which he absolutely is. And what I really love about my therapist right now is that he pushes me a lot. I tend to leave his sessions with more questions than answers, which at the moment feels like a very nice place to be in. So now that is the end of that tale. I've seen a good number of therapists. I've been very fortunate to have pretty much all positive experiences with them, which I know is not always the case, which is why my number one advice if you're considering going into therapy actually comes from the therapist I had for just a month and a half right after that breakup. And that's that, hey, this is a service you're paying for. There are a lot of therapists out there, and if the person you're seeing right now doesn't work with you, you can ask for somebody else. That is something he specifically told me, and I remember after the first couple sessions, he would remind me, hey, if this doesn't feel like it's working for you, you can tell me and I'll recommend somebody and find somebody who I think might fit your style. And now he did work great, so that, that was fine. But if you happen to have a therapist that you're not comfortable telling that to, although if they're a professional, they should be professional about it, but you can always talk to the front desk assistant. Just say, hey, I've had a few sessions, I've tried this, but it's not really working. Um, can you try to link me up with somebody else? And they'll be like, yeah, sure, let me see who I can find, and you'll try it again. As far as family and group therapy goes, do I recommend it? Yes, absolutely. It was incredibly helpful for me. Just know that it may not always be an easy process. If you're going to therapy with your parents or a family member or a significant other or something of that nature, 
you're going because you're trying to work through something you've all been working through poorly or avoiding. So don't imagine it's gonna be like pressing a magic button and making everything okay. You are gonna have to process some very intense emotions. But if you have a good therapist and you're all willing to work and move forward, it will eventually lead to very positive outcomes, at least in my experience. If you're trans or queer, the best suggestion I can provide to you is either A, see somebody who is a gender specialist, or B, see somebody who other people in the queer community can vouch for and validate and say, yes, that person knows what they're talking about. They're very, very good with queer folks. I'm always surprised by how many folks I know who tell me, yeah, I saw this great therapist and we worked out wonderfully, but then I told them I was bi and they tried to convince me that bisexuality wasn't real, or I told them that I was trans and they didn't believe me or wouldn't use the right name or pronouns. And it just it shocks me. But I mean, it probably shouldn't. There are plenty of people who seem very wise and intelligent and accepting in certain areas and then once queer things come up that all just goes out the window and it sucks but the more you can go into a session knowing that that isn't gonna happen the better off you are and the last bit of advice or words of wisdom i can provide uh, is to know that therapy is not going to fix everything but it is gonna do a whole lot else. It's not a magic button you press and then suddenly everything is okay, but it is a vehicle or a tool you can use to work your own way through your struggles. As long as you are willing to put in the effort, I think therapy can take you to a lot of really awesome places. But yeah, there you go. That is my video on gender therapy, group therapy, family therapy, therapy therapy, all the different kinds I've been to throughout my life. Of course, it's always important to note that I am very privileged to be able to go to these sessions at all because they can be very expensive, which I think is just an important thing to, to keep in mind. Keep in mind what's available to you that may not be available to others. I did not script this out. I just put some bullet points on my computer. Um, and when I don't script things out, I'm very bad at endings. Um, yep.